Welcome to the ninth video on this teaching series on understanding the present day ministry of the Holy Spirit. This video is entitled Activated Gifts of Power. I am your instructor, Lon Stetler, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this session. There is a manual which accompanies this teaching video, and I would in encourage you to follow along in the lessons uh, that are in that manual. If not, you can also follow along in my book that's entitled Activating the Present Day Ministry of the Holy Spirit. The power gifts are the gifts of faith, working of miracles, and gifts of healing, and they operate in the realm of the physical. They are gifts of action which produce signs and wonders. Before we get into the first lesson, uh, I would also strongly recommend to you that, that, you, that you have received the baptism in the Holy Spirit um, at, with evidence of speaking in tongues um, prior to not only learning about the power gifts but also exercising and walking in them as well because the power gifts require a lot of firepower. And so if you've not um, received the baptism in the Holy Spirit yet, I would, in, I would in, invite you to ask Jesus right now to baptize you in the Holy Spirit and fire uh, with evidence of speaking in tongues. Again, because the power gifts require the firepower of the Holy Spirit in order to manifest and minister to, them, to, to individuals. All right, let's move on to lesson number one, gifts of healings. Learning point number one, the power gifts are acts of invading the kingdom of darkness to destroy the works of the devil, 1 John 3, 8. Let that sink in for a moment. Your assignment and my assignment is to destroy the works of the devil in our communities using our spiritual weapons, including the spiritual gifts of faith, healings, and miracles. Learning point number two, gifts of healings are divine enablements to heal the sick apart from natural means and human skill. Notice, this gift is the gifts of healings. Both are plural, gifts of of healings and and uh, and so the gifts of healing gifts of healings are the most frequently performed of the gifts of power gifts indicates that every healing is a charisma of Holy Spirit healings plural indicates that different categories of healings to restore the entire person spirit soul and body are available. It also indicates that each person with a disease or more than one disease would be cured. Mark 1 verses 32 to 34. The Greek word for healings here is the word emea and it's always plural in the New Testament. Divine healing was fully restored back to the church in the 1880s during the faith healing movement. Holy Spirit has revealed new truths and divine healing since that time, including a word of knowledge first given and then ministering the gifts of healings. A second revelation as is also is that it's gifts of healings, plural. And the third is that, is that healing through a rhema word or a prophetic word. Again, are some new truths that, uh, that have been, that Holy Spirit has brought to the church um, since the, uh, the 1880s. The power of Christ to heal uh, was transferred and conveyed to spirit-filled believers through the gifts of healings at the prompting of the Spirit. Learning point number three. Divine healing is a provision of the atoning work of Christ. Notice that the Gospel writer Matthew made the connection to Isaiah chapter 53 of Jesus taking our sins and also paying for our healing. Our sins as well as our healing. 
So first of all, looking in Isaiah 53, verse 6, and by his scourging we are healed. But the Lord has caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him. Notice again, healing and dealing with our sin. In Matthew's in, in Matthew chapter 8, verse 17, this was to fulfill that which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet. He himself took our infirmities and carried away our diseases. Again, both are in the atonement, our, the healing of our bodies as well as the washing or the cleansing of our sins, the paying of our sins. The Apostle Peter also made the same connection. Um, in 1 Peter 2.24, And he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, cross, so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. For by his wounds you were healed. Again, Peter making the same connection that in the atonement deals with our sins as well as divine healing for our bodies. So healing, then, is a part of our redemptive right, and the gifts of healings are based upon the finished work of Christ. Learning point number four, declare or prophesy healing over a person only if you have a rhema word from the Lord. Let me share a word of exhortation with you here. When you claim by prophecy that a sick person is going to get well, or that a crippled person is going to walk, make sure that you have a definite word from Holy Spirit before declaring it over a sick person. If you make such a declaration without a rhema word from the Lord, you are speaking presumptuous words that are not inspired by Holy Spirit and are not the gifts of the Spirit, and, and are not gifts of healing, rather. Without a rhema from the Lord, you are speaking from the Logos, the written word, and not from the Spirit. That is, you are prophesying your doctrine and your strong convictions from Scripture, which gives God's general will about divine healing. You can preach, confess, quote, and stand on the Logos, and we should. But you cannot make it into a personal prophecy to an individual unless Holy Spirit has quickened it to you as a rhema word, a living word, a quickened word. Speak only when God makes a biblical truth, a personal rhema for that situation. All right, let's move on to lesson number two, looking at the gift of faith, the gift of faith. A saint given the gift of faith can perform the miraculous. The gift of faith enables one to believe for the impossible. It gives a person the supernatural heart assurance and confidence that when they speak a word from God, it will happen. Learning point number one. When the gift of faith is operative, it is the faith of God which functions through you with divine authority. There are times when the Holy Spirit imparts the faith of God into our spirit-filled believer uh, to speak and to do exploits with great authority. It is the authority of God speaking through the believer. In this case, you are speaking for heaven. You are commanding for heaven. Notice that the gift of faith involves speaking with divine authority. Look at these two scriptures um, that, uh, that Jesus said. The first one is in Matthew 17. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be, and nothing will be impossible to you. And then in chapter 21, Jesus answered and said to them, Truly I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but even, even if you say to this mountain, be taken up and cast into the sea, it will happen. 
Exercising the gift of faith is speaking with divine authority of heaven. Learning point number two. The gift of faith often works in miraculous healings, in deliverance from demonic activity, and great faith for finances. It is wonder-working faith, which manifests itself in actions rather than in word. Holy Spirit likes to be seen and He likes to be heard. So the gift of faith, like the other power gifts, is about destroying the works of the devil. All right, let's move on now to lesson number three. Looking at the third of the power gifts here, the gifts, the gift of miracles. Learning point number one, a gift of miracles is an orderly intervention in the regular operation of nature. This gift is a supernatural suspension of a natural law. Miracles are suspensions of natural laws from the spiritual realm. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 10 states, And to another, effecting of miracles, or working of miracles, and some other translations. And so, the Greek word dunamis is translated miracles here, and it is the same word which is translated power in, some, in a couple verses that we looked at previously. Acts 1.8, but you shall receive power, you shall receive dunamis when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And then also in Luke chapter 24, verse 49, where Jesus instructed his apostles, disciples, to wait in Jerusalem until you are clothed with power, with dunamis from on high. So the Greek word dunamis is best translated miraculous power. Miraculous power. So the gift of of, uh, of effecting miracles or the working of miracles then is requires is the the manifestation of miraculous power learning point number two the working of miracles has to do with providing protection giving provision casting out demons altering circumstances or passing judgment in this lesson, you will learn several scriptural examples of the working of miracles in each of these ways. And so in the manual that accompanies this video, you'll go into greater depth of, and study of those. The working of miracles are acts of power invading the kingdom of darkness. So, so by dunamis, that is the working of miracles here, demonic forces are resisted and they are vanquished. Casting out demon spirits, in particular, is a functioning, functioning, function of working of miracles. The word working, energema, in the New Testament is used almost exclusively for the work of confronting demonic powers. So let me conclude uh, by saying this. I have heard of some national ministers who minister in the power gifts say that when they are prompted of the Lord to manifest one or more of the power gifts in, a, in an evening service, for example, they will invest up to two hours praying in tongues on the afternoon before the evening service. Preparation to minister the power gifts really requires that you run your pony motor, that is, your dynamo, speaking in tongues, to be fully charged to minister these gifts. So this concludes my overview then of the power gifts. A, re a reminder to you that each of the lessons has some discussion questions within them for your small group, and there are some review questions at the end of each lesson that uh, I would encourage you to, uh, to answer those questions so that you can, you can better master the teaching and the learning and begin to internalize and apply what you have learned. 
So God bless you and uh, in your small group as you take a deeper dive into learning about and manifesting these power gifts of the Spirit.